Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video we're going to be taking on the ant lions in the sandbox. And once we've got the ant lion armor, we can go into the charcoal pit. And once we've got charcoal, we can make an oven. So the first thing we'll need is 12 silk rope to connect this zip line from the picnic table to the sandbox. I do recommend saving here because the ant lions are quite tough Don't and you'll be taking on Don't some sizzle damage as well. You'll want to make sure you've brought lots of water with you as well because as you're sizzling your thirst will drain much faster than usual. So we'll want to head left from the zip line and we should come to this little umbrella here and we've already woken up our first ant lion. So I'm just taking him on with an ant club uh, because that's the best weapon I've got right now. Timing your blocks perfectly will really help you out here. One hit from this guy can take more than half your health off. So if you're not timing those blocks perfectly, you might die pretty soon. You'll also want to bring some granola bars and some fiber bandages, just so that if you do miss one of the blocks, you can heal your health back up. With it taking more than half your health off sometimes, you'll not be able to survive too many of those before you die. I think the ant lions do give a pretty good warning before they're about to attack, so they're one of the easier ones to perfect block. And that's the good thing I love about the ant club is you can stun them, but usually when I stun them I'm out of stamina so it's a waste anyway. But there we go, we've killed him. We'll need a few more antlion chunks to make the full armor set though, so let's head back in. And to avoid the sizzle, you can stand in any shaded part of the sandbox and you won't take any sizzle damage. So we've got another antlion here. I like to fight them on the edge of the sandbox just because obviously you're not sizzling there. So after we've killed him, we'll want to come back here at night, so we don't take any sizzle damage. Because the next antlions we want to kill are actually buried in sand pits in the sandbox. We need pincers to make the full antlion armor set, and so far I haven't gotten any pincers from the regular antlions. So I was wondering if we can only get pincers from the ones buried in the pits, like this one. And it turned out that I did get pincers from all the ones I killed in the pits. So I'm not sure if that was just a coincidence or not. I did Google it and it said you can get pincers from antlions. It didn't specify which ones. But also when you kill these antlions, they open up uh, tunnels, underground tunnels. So I'm guessing they don't respawn. So if they don't respawn, you must be able to get pincers from somewhere else. But I'm not really sure. So my tactic here is just to keep circling the pit um, while shooting arrows. I'm using feather arrows from the crow crossbow. And if I get too close, he does pull me in a little bit. So it's best to stay... Yeah, like that. So it's best to stay... A little bit further out. I had never actually heard of antlions before playing this game so I did a bit of research and apparently there's only one species that lives in the UK and there's only two known breeding colonies and both of those are in nature reserves so that might explain why I'd never heard of them um, but they're actually really cool. Um, these ones are actually the larvae and the mature versions are more like dragonflies and they do bury themselves in pits in order to trap ants which they feed on um, which explains why these guys were throwing ants at me <laughs> so actually very cool uh, insects so now that we've got all the pieces we need, we can make the antlion armor set, 
which in my opinion, style-wise, is the coolest armor set so far. We've got a wide brim hat, a poncho, and spurs. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So now we've got the antline armor. We've got a little bit more sizzle protection, which means we can go into the charcoal pit and hopefully get some charcoal. We're not completely immune to sizzling, so we need to be quick running in and running out, making sure we don't burn ourselves. And the reason we need charcoal is that is one of the ingredients required to make the oven. And once we've got an oven, we can make globs and then we can craft the mint mace and the coltana once we get that as well. So heading up into the actual barbecue grill itself, we've got a mega milk molar just sitting behind this grate. And on the way home, I decided to kill some fireflies just so that we could make the firefly headlock. Because when we're using a two-handed weapon like the ant club or the crossbow, we can't carry a torch. So it's a really useful piece of equipment. And as you can see, the fly fireflies were really easy to kill. Just three shots from the crow crossbow. So back at home, we'll get all of this stuff analyzed. And then we should be able to craft the firefly headlamp. I think we got enough pieces for that. I do use the firefly headlamp a lot. It's just really useful and it's kind of tough as well. It's quite good armor, I found anyway. So that's crafted. So the next thing we need is uh, boiling glands to make the oven. We need four of those. So we'll need to kill some bombardier beetles. I actually killed about seven or eight before I got the four boiling glands that I needed because it's not a guaranteed drop from killing the uh, bombardier beetle. So you can also see that he died much easier with the crow crossbow compared to the sprig bow. Only just a few arrows, less than 10 I think. So we have been doing a bunch of very sizzling things in the sandbox and in the charcoal pit and we didn't have fresh defense. So finally I remembered. So if you just eat 10 uh, mint shards, you should get the phase three fresh defense mutation, which is really useful when you're doing anything involving sizzle damage. And now we've got all the ingredients to make the oven. There we go. So once we've got the black ant hill chip and the sandbox chip, which unlock advanced smithing and flavored globs, uh, we should be able to make things like the mint mace and the coltana once we've got the recipe for that. So I'm just upgrading a few things with the mega milk molar that we picked up. And that is about it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this. And join me in the next one where I'll be exploring the Black Ant Hill. I'll see you then.